Hello, I am Dr. Maureen Craig, clinical nurse specialist, mindfulness and yoga teacher at UC Davis Health. Welcome to our wellness class today. You will notice I am using a chair that is non-rolling and that has plenty of room for my arms to move and has a sturdy back. I've set my chair on a surface that supports the chair well and where I can have a sturdiness for my feet to grip. I've chosen to have no shoes on today, but you can definitely wear shoes if that makes your feet feel more sturdy. Let's begin our practice. When I say that we're going to transition into a practice, I like to think, where have I been coming from? Perhaps you were in a class, or maybe you were working on your computer, sitting for a while, or perhaps you're just preoccupied with a lot of thinking. And now is the time for transition. One of my favorite ways to transition is called shake it off. So we'll just come to a standing position. Let your feet be wide enough apart to feel steady. And then we'll bob from our knees. And just begin to feel comfortable in this. And you can do it slow or fast. And just let the energy kind of go through because you're letting go. And you can choose to lower your gaze or close your eyes depending on the comfort of your balance. So letting the knees bob, letting the arms hang a little, letting go in the head, the neck. And then you can do one, at arm, one leg at a time to let the tail wag just a little bit like a happy puppy. And then you can raise your arms and let the arms hang out a little bit, shaking it off. Anything that's coming from our previous experience, we're letting go, letting go, letting go. Great. Now let's come to a little stillness and move into our chair, letting both feet be on the floor and your seat supported underneath you, a nice tall back and we'll kind of center our attention inside. So lowering your gaze or closing your eyes. Take a little bit of a breath in and on the exhale, feel the weight of your body landing right here on the seat that's supporting you, the weight of your feet on the, on the earth. At the end of your next exhale, take a half breath in and pause. Another full breath in and pause at the top. And then on the exhale, bring your lips together like you're blowing through a straw and slowly release the breath. Letting the body melt as you exhale. And repeating this breath three to five times, each time with the intention of letting go of tension in the body and bringing your attention to your breath. Half breath in, pause. Full breath in, pause. Slow exhale through pursed lips. Letting go in the body. Two more of these breaths. Can you feel your body melting just a bit? Still having tallness in the spine. At the end of your next exhale, resuming a natural breath. And let your attention scan through your physical body just seeing how your physical body is doing today. Is there any area that needs a little more attention or might be having a challenge? Just nodding to that in your mind, letting yourself know that you'll be careful. And then turning to the emotional body, resting your attention 
on the heart and the breath over the heart. I'm just checking in. How am I doing in this moment? Remembering that as human beings, over time, all kinds of emotions flow through us. So whatever you're finding in this moment, it's okay. If it's a pleasant experience, you might even feel a sense of gratitude for that. If on the other hand, it's a little more challenging experience, bringing kindness to that. You might even place your hand on your heart in a gesture of comfort. And then with the next breath in, feel the tallness of the spine reaching up. On the exhale, let the shoulders drop back and down. And then bring your chin down towards the chest and just roll out the back of the neck a bit. And draw your shoulders forward up towards the ears as the crown raises up and then let those shoulder blades drop down the back. Shoulder roll. Take another one of those, feel that. Moving of the shoulders. There we go. Bring your hands together in front of you, gently pressing the palms together right in front of the heart. Exhale. Inhale as you bring the elbows together and bloom a flower with your hands. Filling the back body with breath, exhale down. Inhale, bloom the flower. Exhale down. Let your breath be nice and full. Inhale, bloom. Exhale, down. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, thumbs back, open in a rainbow. Let your shoulder blades kiss together. Scoop it up, inhale. Exhale, home. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open. Scoop it up. Exhale, home. Reach both arms up. Exhale, we're going to twist off to the right. Bring your hand on the outside of the knee and maybe the back of the chair or your hip. And just take a bit of a twist here. A little softening with the inhale. Exhale, keep the spine long as you rotate. Inhale, coming back through center, lifting up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Softening with the breath. Exhale, deepen into the twist. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, twist off to that side again. And as you do, take a little softening with the in-breath. Exhale, deepen that twist. And this time, bring that back arm up. And on the exhale, you might bring your elbow to the knee and then reach that back arm forward. Feel that stretch right from the hip all the way through the fingertips. And then inhale, reach both hands for the sky. Exhale, twist off to that other side. A little softening with the in-breath. Exhale, twist. Inhale the back arm up. Let that right elbow come to the knee. Exhale, reaching forward, folding. And then come back to your seated posture. Bring your hands on your knee and we'll do a seated cat-cow. With that position, we're undulating the spine just a little bit. So lift the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, push the spine back. Navel to the spine. Inhale up, exhale, cat posture, pushing that angry cat back right up. Inhale, lift the heart, exhale back. One or two times more, just feeling your spine, getting a good lubrication here. And then returning to a seated posture. Let's pay attention to our hands for a moment. Feel that forearm stretch by taking your left hand into your right and pressing the fingers back as you push through the wrist. Get a good forearm stretch. Exhale. 
and then take it to the other side. Push through the wrist, get a good stretch. When we've been doing a lot of things with our hands, this feels really good. Then take and make some circles with your wrists. Let your hands grow out into sunshine fingers. Exhale it, crunch the fingers together in a ball. Inhale sunshine, exhale bird's beak. Sunshine, take a fist. Sunshine, bird's beak. And sunshine. Great job. Let's stand up next and we'll come next to our chair, holding on for a little steadiness here. And we're gonna do leg swings. So keeping your one leg stationary and your weight on that leg, instead of just letting the leg swing back and forth, I want you to think of it rotating kind of like you're towing in as you go back, as you uh, bring the leg forward, and then let the heel kick back behind you, rotating the toes out as you kick back. And let that hip really open back and forth. So as you come forward, your toe goes out, and as you come back, you're kicking more with your heel. Just letting the hip rotate and lubricate here. And then let's take it to the other side. Switching over, leg swings. And breathing with it. You can point your toe a little bit as you come forward and kick the heel back when you come back. Excellent. Okay, now let's take and have our, our chair dog. So taking uh, the back of your chair, placing your hands on that, and then walk your feet back until your torso and your ears come between your arms. So the back is nice and flat. Feel the chest kind of push down towards the earth. Let the hamstrings lengthen. Spread your toes on the floor. Lift the tailbone. Take a big breath in here. And exhale. Let the chest come towards the thighs a bit. Inhale a full breath. Exhale, scoop the navel in. Another big breath in. And exhale, scoop. And walking back up to standing. We're going to take a few stretches here with the, with the chair. So we'll go ahead and bring ourselves into a lunge position, placing your hands on the mat. Bring your foot right along the front of the chair. Walk the other foot back so you've got a good lunge position happening. Again, spread the toes and we have two lanes of traffic so that both feet are in a separate lane of traffic. Feel the support of your weight on your hands. Let your hips sink just a little bit. And then bring your attention to your back foot. Roll up onto the ball of the foot and then bring it more down with the heel and maybe even lift the front foot. Roll up to the ball of the foot and then back down. Coming into your lunge position, lower the hips, lift the heart, And then exhale, draw that right hip back and take a half step forward with the back foot. Coming into a pyramid pose. So let that right hip really draw back as you lengthen through the back of the leg and lower yourself as much as is comfortable as that heart comes towards the thigh. This is a good stretch for the back of the leg. And then drop back into the lunge, lifting the heart. And exhale, feel that that lengthening of the hamstring as you draw the toes, maybe even up to encourage that and get that stretch into the calf a bit. Nice, and you can just go back and forth between those one more time. Then remaining in your lunge, bring your left elbow or hand down onto the chair and turn the other hand up to the sky, taking a bit of a revolution of your chest. Turn your heart towards the knee, but keep that knee right over the ankle. Good exhale there, and then come back to standing. 
and we'll take these moves on the other side. Placing your foot right in front of the chair, the other foot back, and bring your hands down onto the chair so your weight is on the chair. Let the hips sink just a little bit, helping to open up the front of that hip flexor, rocking back and forth so you take care of the sole of that back foot, getting a good workout from the ball of the foot down towards the heel. And then let's draw that left hip back. You might even draw the toes up. Feel the heart floating towards that front thigh and getting a nice stretch along the calf and the hamstring. Inhale as you sink the hips, lift the heart. Exhale back. Nice and slow, keep breathing with it. Inhale forward, exhale, drop back. And this time, as you plant the foot, bring your right hand or arm onto the chair. Keep the knee right over the ankle. Turn your heart towards the knee and lift that left arm up to the sky. Keep that back kneecap drawn up. Exhale here. Beautiful. All right. Let's move into some of our poses, warrior dancing poses in our chair. So bringing our chair here to the center, we're going to sit on our chair, letting the left, the right thigh, no left thigh, land on the chair, our foot out in front of us, and the back foot out behind us. So we're kind of in a warrior one position. I'm just going to move my chair over just a little bit more. So I get my feet both on the mat. So you can see I'm sitting towards the front of the chair and the back foot is off to about 10 o'clock, two o'clock, sorry, two o'clock. Front foot is out at 12 o'clock. The hips are forward facing and your arms reach up. Warrior one. Exhale to prayer. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale to prayer. Inhale to warrior one. Exhale to prayer. And this time, open to warrior two, where your hips are more side facing. Hands are floating out to infinity. And just breathe with this. Let the breath be in the low belly. Exhale, let the shoulders soften. Inhale, fill. Exhale, reach. Turn that front palm up and come into your peaceful warrior. Let the back hand slide down towards the earth. The front hand goes towards the sky. Couple breaths here. Then bring that front elbow down on the knee and take the back hand up straight. Feel the lengthening and then up over the ear. Feel the back heel all the way to the front fingertips. Good stretch. Very nice. And now we'll take it on the other side. We'll come through, uh, we'll end with a goddess squat. So we'll move our chair over just a little bit. Bring ourselves onto this part of the chair and let our back foot come out now to 10 o'clock. We'll start in our warrior one. So the front foot is facing to 12 o'clock, the back foot to 10 o'clock. Feel the opening of that hip. Your hips are forward facing. Arms reach up. Exhale to prayer. Inhale, reach. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, reach. Exhale, prayer. Reach the arms out into warrior two. We're dancing our warrior here, okay? Now the hips are more side facing. Feel that reach for infinity. Big breath in. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, fill. Exhale, soften. Now taking that front palm, turn it up and come into your peaceful warrior. Reaching for the sky, reaching for the earth. 
letting tailbone to pubic bone draw together as you engage the pelvic floor with exhale. Now bring your elbow down onto your knee. Take the back hand, let it reach long, and then up over the ear, feeling that long line of energy from the back heel through the fingertips. Beautiful. Now we'll come back to center. Moving my chair over just the tiniest amount, and we'll take our goddess squat posture. So in this one here, let your knees be apart, and your knees may go further apart than mine. Many people's do. So just let your knees be apart so you feel comfortable, toes facing out. And feel that tallness in your spine and bring your arms up into cactus. So the elbows are up at the level of the shoulders, sunshine fingers, big breath in here. Exhale, bring those elbows into the waist. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale in. Inhale, cactus. Exhale, reach, and in. Inhale, reach forward, exhale in. Reach forward, exhale, cactus. And again, inhale forward, elbows in, forward, and cactus. Beautiful job. All right, take a cleansing breath and release. We're now going to come to another standing posture. This is called conductor. So it kind of reminds me of that softness that we have at the beginning in our knees. So just let your knees be a little bit soft and your feet a little ways apart, a little bend in the hips as well. And you might think of a um, conductor at the orchestra. And so they'll bring their hands up and then exhale that conducting posture. Inhale them up and then take as deep a bow on the second flow as you can. Uh, your fingers going up over the back. Inhale up, exhale, conduct, and up and bow. Inhale up, exhale, conduct. Inhale up and bow. Inhale up, conduct. Inhale up and bow. Repeating just a few times to really get a good feeling in your hips, opening up, lubricating. If you've been sitting a lot today, this is a great practice for that. One more time, conduct and bow. Beautiful. Okay, I hope that warmed you up well. And now we'll move into a little bit of our core practice. So come a little bit towards the front of your chair, making sure you're still well supported. Feel that tallness in your spine and just begin to march. You can place your hands on the sides of your chair or on your knees and we'll just lift one leg and then the other. Just feel that engagement of your core as you're working here. As you lift, feel the muscles engage. And again, and you might do little puffing exhales with that. There we go. Just marching with it and breathing. Keep the heart lifted. We'll go for six more, five, four, three, two, last one. Very good. Now we'll do our little sit up. So again, you're sitting towards the front of the chair. Keep your heart lifted and just lean back. You can place your hands out in front or on your legs, either one. So lean back till you tap the back of the chair. Exhale up. Inhale, rock back, exhale up, and again. Use the breath to strengthen your movements. Exhale forward, inhale back. 
just coming to a 90 degree angle at the hips on the exhale. Inhale, leaning back, but keeping your heart lifted. We'll go for four more. Three, two, one more. Beautiful. Okay, our last posture for the core is going to be a version of boat pose. So on boat pose, you kind of try and balance on your bottom. So come forward as much as is comfortable for you in this uh, position, and then bring both feet up as you hold the thighs so that you're balancing back. And if you can, and not lose your balance coming forward, go ahead and stay in your boat. Breathing. And releasing. Okay. It's a little bit tricky because we only can go back as far as our chair will let us. So you may not be able to lean back as much as you would if you were on a mat. So, and you can also do this with just one leg. So why don't we practice it with just one leg, lifting and actually maybe even extending the leg. And then switching. and releasing. One more time with both feet if you're up for it. And releasing. Okay, that was nice and intense, wasn't it? All right, well, let's uh, come now to a little unwinding of our practice. We're gonna turn to the side of our chair. Bring both hands up. And on the exhale, we're gonna twist towards the back of the chair. Just letting the spine twist and exhaling here, unwinding our practice. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist it out. Here, inhale, soften, just as you unwind a bit. Exhale, twist. And now take your gaze over the opposing shoulder. And now switching sides, coming onto the other side of your chair. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist to the back of your chair. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, just a little bit. And exhale, twist. Gently rotating the neck, gazing over the back shoulder and release. Coming back now on the forward side here and keeping one leg down, bring the other ankle across the knee and keep your ankle flexed. You might just kind of gently press that knee away from you. Whatever is comfortable for you, this stretches in the outer hip. So just take a moment to breathe with that. Keep the spine tall. One more breath here. And then gently unwind that foot off of the knee and we'll take it on the other side. And you may not have the same flexibility on both sides. I know I don't. So just breathe with that and take that foot into your hand and let that knee drop down just as much as is comfortable for you. And then take your three to four breaths here. And gently unwinding that foot off of the knee. And now we'll unwind in our final resting pose called Shavasana. You can certainly unwind your body on a yoga mat or perhaps you're near your couch or you might be near uh, your bed. Any of those will work. But if you're in an office space or perhaps in the kitchen or dining room and you'd like to figure out how can I recline and rest in a chair. This might be an option for you as well. You can lay on the floor and just rest your feet up in a chair. That can be very restorative as well. 
or you can just rest your feet in another chair. So find your restorative posture. Take a big breath in. Draw your toes back a little bit and then let your legs get a bit heavy. Feel that support behind you, letting the body go here. Take another full breath in and a long, slow exhale as you start to unwind the body, letting the eyebrows drift away from each other a bit and the eyes softening. Letting the face soften. And letting the jaw unhinge. Perhaps the tongue is growing thick in the mouth. Letting the tongue relax all the way down to the root of the tongue. Letting the shoulders get heavy. Your arms heavy. Your right arm and the shoulder right to the fingertips heavy, soft and warm. And then your left arm. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers, heavy, soft, and warm. Feeling the weight of your torso and your hips as they're landing on the surface that supports you. And the weight of your legs. Heavy, soft, and warm. And just resting here, bringing your attention over the heart and the breath over the heart. And then staying here if you'd like. We're beginning to deepen your breath. Enjoying stillness or beginning to find a little movement in your hands and feet, fingers and toes. Feeling the echo of your practice. Gently coming to a seated posture. As we close our practice time together, please bring your hands in front of your heart. Thank you for your practice. May you take a little bit of this practice into your day, into your week, bringing a little more peace, contentment, and joy into your life. Om Shanti, Om Peace, Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to your questions and thoughts about our practice.